Abruzzo, the ancient Aprutium. An immense natural park on the Adriatic Sea. Parks, protected areas, some of Italy's highest mountains, high pastures. And the sea and marvelous cities where art and tradition go hand in hand to disclose this region's true nature to visitors. Both barren and green, breathtaking scenery, with the wind as your only soundtrack. Yet more cities, villages, castles. Imposing, majestic, with no vegetation. Gran Sasso, from which the park takes its name, together with Corno Grande, constitute the Apennines' highest peaks. Its cliffs are the deer's ideal realm. They symbolize the park. A national park with its renowned, unpolluted environment, at the very heart of which is the charming village of Pescaceroli. An ideal destination for cross-country ski and trekking fans. Wolves and Marsican brown bears find refuge in the Parco della Maiella, a majestic mountain which Pliny the Elder named the father of all mountains. However, Abruzzo offers more than just nature. Its cities preserve important churches and monuments. Such as L'Aquila, built by Federico II, where the number 99 recurs like a Kabbalistic element. 99 are the springs in its famous fountain to celebrate the 99 castles which formed a confederation to create the city. L'Aquila features a fairy tale 16th century Spanish fortress and the church of Santa Maria di Colimaggio with Pope Celestino V's grave. Sulmona, home of the celebrated Latin poet Ovid, with the world-famous confetti, sugar-covered almonds used in traditional ceremonies and feasts. Locals lovingly treasure their beautiful regional traditions in popular feasts such as the one in Bucchianico, or the Palio delle Botti, barrel race. Arts and crafts are handed down from one generation to the next. Handmade lace, a skill practiced by embroiderers, and the dexterity of goldsmiths. The local cuisine has bucolic origins. Chestnut and chickpea soup, sheep stew, soft torone, and multiple chano wine. In Abruzzo, there is perfect harmony between the region's wealth of art and history and its natural environment, at once bitter and sweet.